chapter 7.5 direct and inverse variation okay in this section we're going to learn only two things one is direct variation and inverse variation so this is the information okay whenever you have a sentence like this y varies directly as x here's a directly the word directly and there is also a sentence y is directly proportional to x then we can write an equation like this y equals so y varies means y equals directly means here is uh, a uh, we call it a constant of variation k there's a number k and this k is multiplied by this so y varies directly as x that means multiply k by x Okay, so we call this k constant of variation. Constant of variation. Okay. Alright, so whenever we have these two types of sentences, then we convert the sentence into an equation y equals x, or k, you know, constant of variation times x. x. x is the expression comes after this s. So we call this direct variation and inverse inverse variation is this instead of using directly we use inversely so y varies inversely as x means y equals k this time inversely means divide divide the constant of variation by the expression x okay that is called inverse variation uh, there's another uh, sentence y is inversely proportional to x so this is same as the inverse variation. So y equals k divided by x. k divided by x. Okay, so directly means multiply k by x and then inversely then divide k by x. So we have an equation y equals something times x or y equals something divided by x. So you know in this case, you know, for, for each, case, each question, the value of x and y will be given. So we need to find the constant of variation k. Yeah, always you have to find the value of k because x and y values will be given. All right, so here's an example. The distance that sound travels you know, varies directly. Okay, so the distance is the uh, subject. So it's the left side of the equation. So we can write it as this. The distance d that sound travels varies. It varies directly. So directly means we're going to multiply k by something. And that something is the time, right? Directly as the time. So time. Let's use t. So we have an equation. So we just converted this sentence into d equals kt. Make sense? All right. And then we need to find the k value, the constant of variation. So we need the values of time and the d, right? The d value and t values should be given. So as you see this, if sound travels 8,920 feet, ah, this is the distance, isn't it? Distance in 8 seconds. So 8 seconds is the time, right? Time. So we can plug in these two values to this equation. So d is 8,200 sorry nine right eight thousand nine hundred twenty feet equals k times t t is eight seconds so from this one we can find k all right so what do we do we divide each side by what divide each side by eight so that we, we can find k then uh, 8920 divided by 8 is 1, 1, 5 times 4 is 40, so 1140 is equal to k. So we found the value. So that we can just replace it. So the new equation will be this. The distance is equal to k times t, right? So the d equals, d equals k value is 1140 t so this is the equation because we found k so from this equation the question is now 
Okay, find the distance. So what is the distance that sound travels in 3 seconds? So if t is 3, then what is the distance, right? So from here, what we do is find the distance. The distance is 1040 t. So distance is equal to 1140 times t value is 3 seconds. So t is equal to 0, 2, 4, 3 feet. Okay. So for the direct variation and inverse variation, first we need to convert a sentence to an equation. The equation will be y equals k times x or k divided by x. And x is the expression comes after this s. And then from the equation, we need to find what? The value of k. The value of k and the value of k will be found by plugging the values of t and d. t and d always. The values of t and d will be given, so you can find k. So once you find k, what do we do? Replace the k value, replace k with the value, and then rewrite the equation so that you will have d equals something t, right? So from the equation, what do we do? Plug in t value or plug in d value. You know, it depends on the question. Okay, sorry for the division. This should be 1115, right? 1115. Okay, there is a mistake on this one. So, when you divide 8920 by 8, it will be 1115. Okay, and then divide and then multiply this but the constant of variation by 3 then there will be 3345 okay okay here's another example the distance d okay, required for a car to stop varies inversely so this is an inverse variation right in uh, sorry i'm sorry directly directly so this is a direct variation so the distance d should be equal to k times, right? Times, not k divided by k times. Okay, s. What's the what is the expression for this one? The square of the velocity v of a car. So this means, okay, this means square of the velocity. So v squared, right? V squared. So that expression should be v squared. All right, so from this equation, we're going to find the value of k, the constant of variation. So if a car traveling at 40 miles per hour, so this is the speed, isn't it? So this is the velocity v, requires 120 feet to stop. So this is the distance that the car stopped, right? So plug in this one. So d is 120 just 120 is equal to k times v squared 40 miles per hour squared all right then this is equal to 120 is equal to k times 1600 and then divide each side by what 100 uh, 1600 so let's divide each side by 1600 so that we can find k, right? Then this will be use uh, calculator, then 0 0.075 is k. Or you can just reduce this one. Or okay, let, me, let me write it. So if we reduce this one, then what happens? We can reduce it by 4, then 3 over 4 that is k right k uh, okay sorry this 40 right 40 mm -hmm. so here is so k value is 
3 over 40 or k is equal to 0 0.075 so from this one the new equation is this the distance is 0 0.075 times v squared okay so this is our direct variation equation and then the question you find the stopping distance so this is the stopping distance for a car traveling at 50 miles per hour so what we're gonna do is plug in this v in the new equation right plug it this v in the new equation then d equals 0 0.075 times 50 squared then d is equal to okay use a calculator then it will be 187.5 the unit is what feet so this is the stopping distance when a car travels at 50 miles per hour so so it is really simple what you do is rewrite the sentence in an equation this is a direct variation so multiply k by the expression followed by this s and then by the given data given of given values of d and v replace it and find k the constant of variation and then rewrite the equation so that you have only two variables one is on the left another one the other one is on the right and then find d if v is given if v is given then find d right and then if d is given then you can find v okay let's consider this equation uh, this example okay the volume v of a gas at a fixed temperature varies inversely as the pressure so inversely ah here's the inversely so this is uh, inverse variation is it so this is inverse variation so for the inverse variation what's the equation the subject is v right so v inversely so we're gonna do what multiply k or divide k so divide the constant of variation k by the expression comes after this one s right so it will be k over p so this is the inverse variation equation and then what is k oh uh, well the value of v and p will be given later so we just want to write the uh, inverse variation equation like this all right let's check this example the gravity force f between two planets is inversely proportional to uh -huh, inversely proportional to all right so this is what inverse variation right this is an inverse variation so we can write an equation f is equal to k divided by because it's inverse variation we have to divide the constant variation k by the expression coming after this proportional term so this is equal to what square of the distance d so this will be d squared right d squared so you can write it as d squared so f equals k divided by d squared this is the inverse variation equation then later on we need to find the k value by plugging in f and d values okay let's try another example okay so for this equation uh, example a company that produces home theater systems has determined that the number of systems it can sell so s is the number of systems that can be sold is inversely proportional uh, inversely proportional to something so this is an inverse variation isn't it so this is the inverse variation okay, let me write it here inverse variation so we can write an inverse variation equation so the number of systems is s right the number of systems s is equal to k inverse means divide k by the expression comes after the proportional to so that is the price of the system 
So P goes to the denominator. So you know, if the price of B is high, then probably there will be a less number of uh, items will be sold, right? So that makes sense. So we have an equation S equals K over P. So from here, okay, 2000 systems can be sold when the price is $2,500. So this is the value of S, the number of systems, and this is the value of the price. This is the price, isn't it price? So by using the given values, we can find K. So just plug in these two numbers. So 2000 equals K over P, the price is 2500. So from here, we can find K. So why don't we multiply each side by 2500, right? So multiply each side by 2500, then you can cancel out this, so that K is equal to multiply these two numbers, then that is 5 million, isn't it? 5 million. So since we found the K, rewrite the equation. So the number of systems is 5 million divided by the price of each system. All right, so this is our equation, inverse variation equation. And from here, let's, okay, let's find, let's check the question. So how many systems, so S, can be sold when the price of the system is $2,000? All right, so the price of system is given. So the number of systems is what? 5 million divided by the price, 2,000. So S is equal to, you get divided by you get 1,000, so three, you know, three zeros gone, so divide by 5,000 by 2, then 2,500 systems. So this many systems will be sold if the price of the system is $2,000. All right, so that is it for this section. Really simple section, right? Okay, please do your, uh, do the uh, exercise questions.